Iceland is a mysterious northern country with amazing nature, geography, and a rich history. This island is full of glaciers, geysers, volcanoes, waterfalls, and fjords. It is often called the land of fire and ice. Fascinating Iceland attracts with its extraordinary beauty and unique features. We could just not resist traveling. Autumn is a great time to travel to Iceland if you want to admire the lavish colors of this season. It is best to use a car to contemplate the coal black mountains and golden plains stretching beyond the horizon. In early autumn, there is still no snow or ice. This assumes good driving conditions. Nevertheless, you need to be prepared for squalls and flying rocks that can damage your windshield. Autumn on the island begins at the end of August and can last until the beginning of November. The average temperature for this time of the year ranges from 6 to 11 degrees. In this case, September is the most favorable time to visit Iceland. Late autumn can meet you with a piercing wind, constant rains, and sleet. And of course, shorter daylight hours. The local humid, windy, and cool climate can be called maritime but not Arctic. Its fickleness has long been the reason for numerous jokes. As Icelanders say, don't like the weather? Just wait five minutes. The widespread belief that it is very cold here is not true. For example, in January, the air cools down to zero degrees and severe frosts are rare. In summer, the temperature fluctuates between 10 degrees and 15 degrees. As you can see, the name of the country, Iceland, has nothing to do with the weather conditions of the island. Iceland is the largest volcanic island in the world and is situated in the North Atlantic. This is a real kingdom of wild, unbridled nature. Stunning reliefs of volcanoes and lava fields, wonderful geysers, and hot spring valleys are amazing. There are the world's major tectonically active areas. Eruptions, outflows of hot waters and gases, and even the formation of new volcanoes continue to nowadays. It has to do with the fact that the island is located in the fault zone of the so-called Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Iceland is its summit, towering above the surface of the ocean. Interestingly, volcanism manifests itself not only on the island itself, but also in the ocean. So in the early 60s of the last century, an underwater eruption began near the southern coast of Iceland. As a result, the new island, called Surtsey, emerged. One of the few cases in recent history when humanity has a chance to record the formation of a new Earth. In total, there are over 150 volcanoes in the country. About 40 are active, which often causes air poisoning with poisonous gases and ash fallout. It sounds incredible, 
but a third of all the lava erupted by the Earth's volcanoes over the past 500 years was expelled by the fiery mountains of Iceland. To fully appreciate the degree of influence of this seemingly small island on the environment, one should recall the largest lava eruption in the history of humankind in the 18th century. Then it caused drops in the temperature throughout the whole northern hemisphere. What's more, it led to crop failure and hunger in Europe. But despite the threat and inconvenience caused, Iceland's nature is loved not only by locals, but also by numerous tourists. After all, the availability of this land to change its appearance constantly is so delightful and beautiful. Ninety-nine percent of Iceland's surface is volcanic rocks. The island is composed of thick layers of basalts and other lavas that have been gradually pouring out over the past 20 million years. Compared to the rocks of most of our planet, the local rocks are very young. The combination of dark gray or black basalt with vibrant vegetation is characteristic of the landscapes of this striking land of contrasts. The majestic nature of Iceland has long captivated travelers from all over the world with its fantastic landscapes and pristine beauty. Located near the Arctic Circle, the island is covered with many small lakes and rivers that drain into the cold Antarctic waters. Most rivers start from glaciers. They are teeming with rapids and waterfalls and are therefore not navigable. More than half of the country's area is stony placers, covered with moss and lichen. Moss, capable of growing on bare rocks and tree trunks, is ubiquitous. The humid climate encourages the growth and reproduction of over 600 species of these plants. More familiar to us under the name of Citraria, Icelandic moss develops only in clean air while acquiring many healing properties. Most of Iceland is a plateau with a height of 400 to 600 meters above sea level. The largest active volcano on the island of Eravajökull reaches an elevation of 2,109 meters. The beginning of autumn is an ideal time to explore the Icelandic highlands as most of the roads to the mountains are open from around mid-June to late September. To travel, you will need a good SUV and the necessary insurance. Eleven thousand years ago during the settling of Iceland, the vegetation cover occupied two-thirds of the island's area. It sounds incredible, but back in the 9th century, this land was covered with a birch forest. Now the landscape mostly resembles a tundra, or is completely devoid of vegetation. The reason for this is deliberate arson and the strongest deforestation that local forests underwent in the distant past. The Vikings who came here from Norway needed timber and space for agricultural land and pastures. 
They also brought sheep, whose appetite for saplings prevented the Icelandic forests from recovering. Speaking about the nature of Iceland, it is impossible to ignore the waterfalls, the visiting card of the island, and its punchline. More than a thousand waterfalls will delight you with their beauty. One of them is called Gullfoss, which means the Golden Falls in Icelandic. It owes its name to the golden hue of water on a clear sunny day. Gullfoss is considered one of the most impressive waterfalls in Iceland. It has a total height of 32 meters and consists of two giant steps rotated towards each other at an angle of 90 degrees. They are located on the Kvita River in the Haikaladur Valley, about 100 kilometers from Reykjavik. The powerful streams of water generate a cloud of foamy spray. In the early 20th century, the power of Gullfoss put it at risk to generate electricity. Fortunately, the plans did not come true, and this extraordinary place remained untouched. In 1979, the area was declared a nature reserve to protect the waterfall and allow visitors to enjoy the mesmerizing landscapes for many years. When going to the waterfall, take a raincoat or a water repellent cape to protect yourself from the large accumulation of spray and air vapor on the way to the waterfall. From the viewing areas, one can see both the waterfall itself and the crevice into which it falls. Be careful and stick to the marked trails to avoid accidents. The harsh climate and landscape of the island contributed to the development of a special breed of horses, Icelandic. Being small and strong with a large head and shaggy, dense fangs, they are not afraid of cold weather and rarely get sick. These good-natured and very smart creatures master all five types of horse gait, one of which is called tot a special gate that allows one to move both on ice and on lava fields. The appearance of horses was the result of severe necessity. For centuries, they were the only means of transport on land. Now there is no need for such use, but the breed remains the country's brand and is very popular in Europe and North America, for which Icelanders breed horses for sale. These animals are also so unique because they have preserved the purity of their breed since the time of Vikings. To save space on ships, the Vikings selected the smallest individuals. As a result, it gave rise to the population. For 11 centuries, Icelandic horses lived in isolation and did not mix with other breeds. To avoid crossbreeding, the import of horses into the country has been banned since 982.
The southernmost mainland point of Iceland is Cape Dirholai, which means the door of the island. The name is not accidental. The bends of the rocks resemble a huge gate. Back in the Ice Age, an underwater volcanic eruption took place here, after which an island was formed. Over time, the water receded, exposing previously underwater areas of volcanic rocks. So the island turned into a cape with unusual forms. The scale of the natural structure allows a small aircraft and even a ship to overcome the archway. The grandeur, vast expanses, and absolute solitude makes this place ideal for finding harmony and relaxation. The fauna of Iceland is not very diverse. It is home to only about 27 species of wild mammals, largely due to the isolated position of the island. The ocean waters are inhabited by whales, seals, and dolphins. Iceland is considered the birthplace of sea seals, you can find them in many tourist locations on the island. Accustomed to human attention, they happily pose for cameras. It may seem strange, but reptiles, amphibians, and mosquitoes don't exist in Iceland at all. The latter cannot stand a cold, changeable climate, and reptiles are simply prohibited from import. You will not find large land predators here either. In this regard, the island is completely safe. The bird world of Iceland, on the other hand, is distinguished by a great variety of species. On the coast, one can find gulls, terns, snipes, and many other species. Although the most common seabird is the Atlantic puffin, it is Iceland's pride and symbol. In total, there are about 350 bird species many of which prefer to settle in the Latorbjarg Cliffs, one of the largest bird colonies in Europe.
One of the most popular attractions in Iceland is the Jokulsárlón Glacier Lagoon. It is located in the southeastern part of the island and is considered the largest glacial lagoon in the country. Its appearance is shaped by the Vatnajökull Glacier. Under the influence of global warming, the glacier is slowly retreating from the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, leaving behind fragments of melting ice blocks. Now the lagoon reaches 200 meters in depth and continues to grow in size. Here is absolute silence. It can be disturbed only by the sounds of birds, seals, and drifting ice. A ghostly procession of glowing icebergs is the name of this place. Looking at the beauty of ice flows, it is difficult to believe that this is reality and not a painting by the artist. The boulders form various shapes and seem to shine from within. Here, you truly rest your soul. Realizing that there is ice in front of you, which is thousands of years old, you want to sit down and just watch, leaving behind your worries. The high massives of Iceland are covered with glaciers. They occupy more than 10% of the country's territory. Vatnajökull, the largest of these, has an area of about 8,000 square kilometers and an average thickness of 400 meters. Like many other glaciers in Iceland, active volcanoes are hiding here. When the eruption occurs, the lava is under pressure and cools very quickly. With no time to crystallize, it turns into shiny black rock. This igneous rock is called obsidian, or volcanic glass, and is compressed volcanic ash. This is how the most valuable flawless black stone is born. World-famous drinking water is produced in Iceland. Meltwater from these glaciers is considered the cleanest on the planet, both physically and energetically, because it keeps in its memory the ecological environment before the emergence of man-made civilization.
the impressive Svartifoss Falls, meaning Dark Falls or Black Falls, is hidden in the Skatnafell area of Vatnajökull National Park and features dark hexagonal basalt columns on both sides of the trough. The waterfall is fed by icy meltwater from the Svinajökull Glacier. Svartivos was formed by volcanic eruptions. Superheated magma emerges from the crater in the form of lava, which is rich in iron and magnesium and cools rapidly in air. It forms a fine-grained, dark volcanic rock known as basalt. Because of its chemical structure, basalt tends to crystallize in the form of a column. It makes Svartifoss waterfall different. Hundreds of tourists come to enjoy its fantastic views every year. However, the path to the waterfall passes with a small climb, and for a trained person, it will not be difficult but it will require efforts from those who are not in shape. Iceland is a country with a huge number of waterfalls. According to unofficial estimates, there are over 10,000 of them on the island. Some of them do not even have official names. The emergence of a large number of these natural phenomena is associated with the climatic conditions of the country. It often rains and snows, as well as there are many glaciers which occupy 11% of the island's area and feed the turbulent rivers. A variety of landscapes with sharp elevation changes that form ledges also contribute to the formation of waterfalls. Here they can be wide and full flowing. Or they can be narrow ribbons of water falling from high cliffs. From one glance at which it seems that wings are growing. Cliffbreaker Waterfall, or Cliffbreaker Fosser, is the name of a chain of small waterfalls located one above the other at the bottom of the Mjörfjörður Fjord in eastern Iceland. The name can be translated as climbing the slopes of waterfalls. The height of this impressive site is about 10 meters. You can see it in its entirety from the side of the road at the foot of the waterfall. The Cliff Breku is nourished by the purest spring water from the Fjardara River. Transparent and not contaminated by anything, it makes it incredibly clean. Unfortunately for tourists, the site is only accessible from June to September as the mountain pass leading to the narrow fjord is closed in winter. The cliff breaker is often thought of as a series of waterfalls. It is essentially a cascade of ledges. In any case, this is one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the country and another striking landmark of Iceland. Stunning waterfalls, thin streams of rivers, sheer cliffs, and the intricate relief of Iceland look completely different from a bird's eye view, opening new worlds to the viewer. Countless rivers, like snakes, meander between rocky cliffs and ochre-colored plains, 
and giant waterfalls stagger the mind with their size and power. The beauty of nature speaks for itself. Now you know exactly where to go next in search of inspiration. An important natural attraction of the country is the Skogafoss waterfall on the Skog River, which originates in the ice of Iyafjallajökull. It is one of the largest waterfalls in Iceland, with a width of 25 meters and a height of exactly 60. The heavy curtain of water is stunning and mesmerizing, and a walk in the immediate vicinity envelops visitors in a cloud of mist. Skogafoss looks even more spectacular in sunny weather. One or two rainbows always shine in the spray of water. This place is one of the most scenic and most visited in Iceland. No less popular among tourists is the Selja Landsfoss waterfall, located on the Selja Lands River, 20 kilometers from the Aya Jafaljokul volcano. It stands out for its original landscape and very beautiful countryside. This is the only waterfall in Iceland that can be easily bypassed from all directions. That is, Walk around the falling water, admiring the surrounding landscapes through its streams. The Godafoss waterfall, or God's waterfall, amazes with its splendor. It looks like a crescent in its shape. In the middle, two massive basalt columns stand symmetrically, between which water also flows. Godafoss is famous not only for the composition of its forms, but also for the purest turquoise water. In sunny weather, it transforms, shimmering with many rainbows. The grace of God's Falls beautifully sets off the rugged Icelandic landscape. The best time to visit Godafoss is, of course, summer. But it is also beautiful in winter, despite the partial freezing. The majestic Westerhorn Rock, stretching along the Stokensnes Point, will amaze any connoisseur of the harsh northern landscapes. The cape itself and the beach of the same name are located in the southeast of the island. It is one of those places that will take your breath away. The height of the mountain reaches 757 meters, and the black sand beach gives this place a fantastic and, at the same time, mystical look. The endless expanses and pristine nature of the subarctic nature are delightful. The Fjardarfjall mountain range, to which it belongs, is a magmatic body exposed by glacial erosion with the cosmic name of Pluto. 
It was formed during the slow cooling of magma under the Earth's surface and consists of gabbro and granophyre rocks. It makes these mountains more like the Alps than the basalt or colored hills of Iceland. Due to the shape and structure of Vestrahorn, it is extremely difficult to climb, so it is not very suitable for climbing. As for swimming, the water on the beach is icy and unlikely to be pleasant for humans. In the area of transport, Iceland has no railways, and getting around on a regular bus may not be very convenient. The car will be the most suitable means of transportation in these parts. If you have an SUV, then there will be practically no inaccessible places. There is a 1,339 kilometer long public trail system along the coast around the entire island. For visitors, it is the main one since it connects almost all the settlements. The most famous and attractive objects are located either directly on the highway or at a short distance from it. For ordinary tourists, Icelanders have organized the Golden Ring Route along which the bulk of the traffic moves. If you wish, you can drive it in 15 to 20 hours. But of course, you shouldn't rush it, because the island has a lot of bright locations worthy of thoughtful consideration. Agriculture in Iceland also has its characteristics. Only 1% of the country's soil is suitable for growing vegetables and fruits. Therefore, you are unlikely to see a garden or vegetable garden next to a typical Icelandic house. In general, agricultural land occupies about 20% of the area and is used for grazing livestock. Interestingly, chemistry is not used here, either as a fertilizer or to combat insect pests. However, the latter are simply absent here due to the cold climate. In front of you is the beautiful Kirkjufell. Its distinctive conical shape and expressive landscapes make this mountain one of the most photographed in Iceland. It is surrounded by a beautiful hiking trail and is very popular with tourists. Despite the seeming easy accessibility, the mountain has a high level of difficulty for climbing. The volcanic activity of the island has led to the emergence of hot springs and geysers. The densest concentration of them is located in Iceland. The country has more than 250 groups of geyser fields, including at least 7,000 individual hot springs. The Icelandic word Havera Velar denotes both an ice volcano and a geothermal area with craters, fumaroles, and smoking colored earth. Fumaroles are the places where magmatic gases escape. You have to be careful when moving in their zone, so you do not fall into them. Havera Velar is a valley of natural geothermal springs. While the air temperature can be close to zero, the earth will always be warm and the water will be above 30 degrees Celsius.
a short walk among these hot reservoirs, emitting steam of boiling springs and fumaroles, will give you an unforgettable experience. Unless, of course, you are confused by the smell of sulfur. In the volcanic baths, you can swim and improve your health, as well as get aesthetic pleasure, contemplating the exotic views of these places. The pristine nature and the ghostly dancing columns of steam and gas erupting from the cracks of the fumaroles create a fantastic picture that will not leave anyone indifferent. The wonderful Heikadolar Valley is home to two legendary geysers, Stroker and Geyser. The Icelandic word geyser literally translates as spewing or spouting. The most powerful hot spring bursting out of the ground 60 kilometers from the capital was called a geyser in ancient times. The fame of the huge column of hot water spread throughout the world. The word geyser stopped to be a proper name and began to denote all such natural phenomena. During an eruption, this giant can throw water to a height of 60 meters. However, its activity is irregular and the hibernation period can last for years. In a calm state, it takes the form of a small green lake. But the most interesting thing is that the geyser can be woken up by breaking through an artificial channel through a layer of quartz around its edge, or, oddly enough, with the help of soap. But only geologists authorized by the state have the right to such actions. Since it can be difficult to catch geysers in action, tourists flock to its closest neighbor Strokur. Being one of the most active geysers in the world, Strokur raises a water column to 30 meters high into the air and erupts every 5 to 10 minutes. Iceland's volcanic plateau drops off abruptly from all sides to the seashores. The picturesque coastline of the island is dotted with beautiful bays and fjords with green valleys. It should be reminded that fjords are winding narrow sea bays and most often with high rocky shores. They are formed as a result of a shift in the Earth's crust, leading to cracks and faults, which are subsequently filled with water. To an ear unaccustomed to Icelandic speech, Tingvelo sounds like the name of a fabulous country. But in fact, this is a valley, a national park, and a folk shrine included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. It was here that the oldest parliament in Western Europe, the so-called Alting, or simply the Icelandic People's Vetch, met since 930. This place is unique in geological terms. The National Park is located in the middle of the Atlantic Ridge, 
at the meeting point of two lithospheric plates, North American and Eurasian. Every year they diverge by two centimeters, separating the continents of America and Europe from each other. In the vicinity of Lake Tingvad Lavatan, a tectonic fault fills with crystal clear water, forming the magnificent Silfra Gorge. At its narrowest point, diving enthusiasts will be able to touch both plates with their hands. In the valley, you will be able to personally observe how the earth is literally diverging at the seams. It must be said that such tectonic activity extends to the entire island, leading not only to volcanism, but also to earthquakes of varying intensity, which are customary for the local population. We are visiting Detifoss, the most powerful waterfall in Europe. In Russian, its name sounds like the seething waterfall. It is fed by the melting water of Vatna Yokol Glacier. Mighty Dedefoss is 100 meters wide and only 9 meters below Niagara. The dark, austere beauty of this place is almost awe inspiring. A huge brownish brown mass of waterfalls with a deafening roar between the sheer basalt rocks. At the bottom of this gorge, the mighty waterfall seems to boil, spreading splashes around itself. To be face to face with Dedifoss, to feel the earth shaking underneath the crushing blows of its gigantic stream, is truly overwhelming. The largest geothermal power plant in the country is located not far from Krafla Volcano and Lake Mevatn. Krafla provides energy to the northern capital of Akureyri and the entire eastern part of Iceland. The temperature at the bottom of the well, reaching liquid magma, is about 1,000 degrees Celsius. Electricity is generated from superheated steam that rises from a depth of 2 kilometers. The energy of this wonderful country is entirely based on renewable energy sources. Hot springs are widely used in Iceland to heat homes, swimming pools, and greenhouses. From wells with a depth of 200 to 2,000 meters, water is fed directly into pipes where you can safely drink from the tap without fear for your health.
The charming nature of the island is unique, mysterious, and very expressive. Here, you can feel like a hero of a fairy tale epic or an explorer of a new young land. It all depends on your imagination. But no matter why you come here, do not forget to respect the beauty that will open before you.